spirit. Do you know that experience of the racing that can happen inside? I have to do this and I promise that. And oh, and those people, I must return that phone call. And gosh, I haven't looked at Facebook for two and a half hours. Your business is really exciting when you take your business out to the market and you've got great ideas and great plans. And good luck to everybody. That these are the good times. I'll say that once again, that these are the good times. Asks. Now what you're going to do then is you're going to take a look at your to-do list and you're going to go, right, this item I've got here on my to-do list, does this directly correlate to a task that's going to achieve a project that's going to achieve an income generating product or service? Irrespective of what the economy holds and irrespective of what 2017 brings for you, focus on your personal brand. Because when you are clear about who you do not want to work with, you only work with people you want to work with. For small businesses though, what happens is you generally work with other businesses, which means that there is no hierarchy. So my tip today is saying that if there's anything that you can do next year, it's learn to communicate concisely, clearly and diplomatically. It's plan, implement, evaluate, repeat. If you don't have somebody in your business that you can be accountable to, find a mentor, find a buddy. Yes, we like a story, we like a business plan, but we've got to look at how can we niche it to our customers? How can we niche ourselves further to really help out our customers um, and make it better for them? We use the question, what's next? And when you go into that question of, What's next? Just like that, it will come to you because we all have our lists.